Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our next episode of uh, U204's Adventures in the North Atlantic. While we have been traveling to our um, ordered uh, patrol area for Operation Drumbeat, we have already spotted a ship. Right there. If you can see it, back in the background, there it is. Let's, uh, I have already identified it. It's a, uh, a coal freighter. I mean, it's just 2,900 tons, but uh, 2,900 tons is okay. We take it anyway. We need to get a little bit closer and then we will uh, using the deck gun. Okay, we are close enough. There they are. Ah, he is armed, okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, that's good. A little bit short. A little bit too long. Let's take a little bit shorter. Okay, we need to get a little bit less. Yeah, no, we're talking. Ah, crap. No, come on, sink. Okay, starts to burn. We are damaged, but not very much, it seems.
Okay, and now she's gone. Okay, wonderful. We took a little bit damage, but uh, yeah. uh, it's nothing really. It doesn't even show up on the map, so we need to get to a test dive. Yeah, another 2,958 tons. Now we are at uh, 28,530. That's nice. So the curse of the 13th patrol is broken. Yep. There she is. Oh, oh, oh. That's heavy. They're pretty well armed for such a small unit, to be honest. It looks like the coal is uh, burning heavily. Very nice, so yeah. I think success is back. Uh, it looks like he has, it has coal loaded. Yeah, definitely cool. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> With that heavy explosions, uh, the ship should go down any second now. <coughs> Sorry. It already uh, looks like it's taken on water by the bow. Yeah, she is definitely taken on water. <sighs> yeah, didn't even know that uh, coal is uh, so explosive. Uh, don't watch uh, uh, the sinking of her. We need to go back to course. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, the first single uh, ship we saw on that uh, travel line. Let's hope there is uh, a few more coming. I will do now a uh, test dive and see if the hull is uh, seriously uh, damaged and then we go back and uh, continue our business yeah, 
Derzeitige Tiefe 1,58 Meter. Ausblasen! Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Wahnsinnige Fahrt voraus. Seerohrtiefe. Okay, we have made a, 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 a test dive and we should not go beyond 140 meters. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Ausblasen! That's good to know. So we took a little bit hull damage, which means we need to approach our next targets with a little bit more caution. And uh, yeah, so far so good. We will then continue on our patrol. And see what happens. Until then, see you later. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Alarm! Yeah, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, spotted an airplane. A Supermarine Wall, Russ. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. It's a uh, supermarine walrus. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go down uh, to 80 meters. Stay in there for about four or five hours and then we continue our way. And let's see if he has. Seen us. Derzeitige Tiefe 5-0. Derzeitige Tiefe 6-0. Ja, okay, let's see. Yeah, no drop, okay. Seems like he hasn't seen us. Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Okay. Yeah, then five hours submerged and then business as usual. <coughs> and again an aircraft. This time he surprised us. Oh, oh that's a Bristol Blenheim. Uh, look at that. Come on, get down. That's a Bristol Blenheim, man. Uh, that's a surprise. Never saw one of these in the game. Nice. Nicey nice. Yeah, the problem is uh, with our missing... Respectively with our um, destroyed uh, radio antenna, we cannot receive any position reports of convoys. So, the only way we get to find the convoy is if we run into one. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. So, yeah, we need to continue search for a convoy or a single ship. But I have traveled all the way down here. We sunk the last one up here, right there about. And then we went all the way down here. It's not one single ship. Not one. Huh. We have still enough fuel, that's not the problem. We are at uh, 50%. So we will continue our way down here. 
And then we'll patrol the area here. Ooh, ah, he dropped. And then we will then we'll continue the uh, patrol and uh, search here from New York right down to Norfolk. Let's maybe maybe there's something to find here. Let's see about that. Uh, he's already gone, it seems. Okay. So we stay submerged again for five hours and then we'll surface again. See you later. Yeah, so far so nothing. We have not seen one single ship. The all the travel down here, they're most likely clinging to the shallow waters, and I don't want to go in there. So I have decided to go down here and then we go up the to the New York area here again. There should be some single merchants going out to New York over to uh, over to Gibraltar or maybe a red up to England. I don't know. We need to see. There should be some ships out there somewhere. We are now exactly one month at sea. So yeah, let's hope for some more targets. Yeah, we have reached uh, the area uh, of New York. So I have uh, plotted some rudimentary search pattern. Maybe we find something. And uh, we are now down to about uh, 30... 8% fuel, so we slowly but surely go on our way home now. And another aircraft. Oh, wow. Okay, our first American aircraft. Our first American aircraft, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, looked like uh, Seversky uh, P-35 or something like that. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Yeah, fuel is uh, down to almost 30%, so we need to get home now, sh sh uh, slowly but surely. We continue that way and then uh, we go here straight up that line, so we might cross some uh single merchants over here uh, let's have a look i don't know okay so now we need to stay submerged for another five hours again and then we'll go on our way yeah guys so uh, we have patrolled the whole area up and down here our fuel is now down to uh, 20% that's barely enough to make it home. Oh, we have a new Oh, we have a new uh, supply ship now that changes the situation completely We need to get there and uh, let's see 2500 kilometers should be doable Yeah uh, We need to get there and we need to get there, refuel, maybe we get another torpedo or two, and then we'll see what happens next. Change of plans, guys. Guys, we have received some fuel. We are now on 30%, that should be enough to get home. And we have received uh, three more torpedoes. So yeah, let's get the hell out of here.
Jawohl, Herr Kalloin. Ein Drittel Fahrt voraus. Derzeitige Fahrt. Acht Knoten. Maybe we find something to to shoot at on our way home. Uh, the radio antenna could not be repaired, so yeah, we still are just uh, depending on our eyes. Now let's see, maybe we can find something on our way home. I need to reload one of the tubes that we, we do that when we are a little bit away off the Canadian coast so yeah let's go yeah we made it back to Brest we have not met one single ship or convoy and the whole travel back from the Canadian coast this was really a cursed patrol to be honest holy moly okay let's see what do we have here? Ah, that's us. Oak leaves, swords and uh, diamonds. Now oh, let's see. Do we have some new equipment? Oh yeah, we have a Fumo 29. Ah, a radar, an early radar set. Now that's interesting. Other than that, there's nothing. Okay. Let's see what we have with torpedoes. We have still the... Oh, we have uh, Type 7, uh, Type um, 3A now. Oh, that's interesting. That should give us less problems with that. Now, that's interesting. Cool, so we have T2s, T1s, T3s. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that we already have. Okay, so, yeah, I end the patrol here. It's uh, 25th February 1942. We have been almost uh, uh, two months at sea. Uh, we still managed to sink 28,530 tons on this cursed patrol. I hope I see you all next in the next episode of U-204 Adventures in the North Atlantic. And until then, I wish you a nice weekend. Stay safe out there and see you again. Bye-bye.